If you're watching this because you're wondering whether a Naked Wolf purchase is worth it, I can categorically tell you, yes, it absolutely is. Yes, they are expensive, but I promise you the shoes are just like nothing I've ever seen, quite frankly. Um, so yeah, I discovered Naked Wolf, I think in like 2019. And I was obsessed. I was like, oh my God, like these shoes are so, so, so beautiful. And then I think I got my first pair in 2020. And I now have six pairs that I'm going to show you. I have three pairs of trainers or sneakers, two pairs of heels and one pair of boots. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you all of the shoes. And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on them, my feelings on them. Uh, yes, let's. Let's do it! I'm so excited! I fucking love Naked Wolf! Oh, so a note before we start as well. Sizing wise, I would recommend always sizing down in Naked Wolf. I am a size UK 6 or 5.5 depending on the shoe. I wear a 5 in Naked Wolf. Um, I find that with every single pair of shoes that I bought from them, I need to size down. So that would be my advice. Okay, so let's start with trainers. So. We'll start with the first pair that I ever got. Voila. This is Sporty White. So Sporty White are 170 Great British Pounds. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we've got the logo here. These are actually the vegan leather ones. I'm not sure that they still sell the vegan leather ones because I can't see them on the website. But the white leather are 170 pounds. Um, I believe I paid a lot more for these, I believe these were around £220, um, but don't quote me on that. Again, they're not, they don't seem to be on the website in the vegan leather anymore, so I'm not sure if those still exist. You have the logo at the back. So these are so comfortable. Also, you'll notice that I <laughs> still have all the stuffing in my shoes. That's because I restuff them after I wear them just to like keep their shape. Um, and you'll also notice that they're all very clean and in very good condition and that would be because I rarely go anywhere so I'm always either just in my gym converse or slides so it's quite rare that I wear any other shoes um, hence them being so clean but anyway, yep, yeah, this is sporty white they all come in like individual little like dust bags just like this Okay, this next pair, I love these. These are like so comfortable. I wore these in New York most days because I was doing like 40,000 steps a day. Like we were doing a lot of walking and I kid you not, like not once did I have sore feet. I felt like I was walking on literal clouds for the entire trip. So this is Phantom in black and white. These are I'm just obsessed with them. You can see we have like Naked Wolf going down here and then they have the logo on the back. They also have this cool little bit with the logo on the side, so. Love these. So, unfortunately, I am quite sure that they don't sell those anymore. I had to find them at a Stockist, so I believe I bought mine from flannels. Yeah, so Phantom are no longer available on the Naked Wolf website But you might still be able to find like the last of the stock on One of their stockist websites, so I know that flannels and selfridges are both stockists of Naked Wolf I'm not sure about other places. I got those I think for a hundred and sixty Great British pounds in the sale um, at flannels so yeah, I love those, but unfortunately they might not be available. Guys, this next pair of trainers is just my favorite ever. I'm obsessed with these. They have not been worn yet. I've not worn them, but holy guacamole. They're very heavy, first off. Oh my God, my nipples out. I don't think you can see it though, so that's always good. Okay, yeah. So this next pair, they're very heavy. I will say the colour that I have is no longer available online, but they have this shoe available in multiple different colours. But this is, the shoe is called Slider, and I have them in rose and baby pink. 
Oh, they're so pretty. Are you joking? Like, look at that. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? So yeah, these are super chunky. They're very like, they give me like skate shoe vibes. I'm not a skater, so I could be very, very wrong about that. Um, but skate shoe vibes are the vibes that I get. Correct me if I'm wrong. Stunning. Wow. Jeez. So, yes, like I say, slider are available in lots of different colours. So they have them in black and white, they have them in baby pink and white. And they are £240. We're done with trainers. Now, what you're all here for, really, let's be honest, is the spice boots. So, I was obsessed with the spice boots for a very, very, very long time before I actually ended up buying them. And, oh, just there is no comparison. These boots are the most amazing things ever. What I will say is I thought looking at them that they would be quite easy to walk in. Like, I didn't think walking in them would be too much of a challenge because they're very chunky. And so I just thought, like, do you know the chunkier the heel, like, the easier it tends to be to walk in? I thought that, but there's not much support around your ankle, so they're not, like they're walkable totally, obviously, but they're not for walking. These boots were not made for walking, okay? But who needs to care about walking when you can just stand and look good, am I right? Here they are in all their glory, the spice boots. They're just a delight. Brat still vibes. Ooh. Yeah, these are like my favourite shoes ever. So these again are vegan leather ones. The wolf on the back. And then you also have a little wolf on the side here. Yeah, these are just the most phenomenal shoes. Let me see if I can find them online to tell you the price. Cool, so the Spice Boots are £300. Um, they're available in like lots of different colours. So they have them in brown, they have them in like a um, creamy colour. Um, they have patent black ones. They have denim, that's new. Oh, they also have red patent. <laughs> Take my money. Wow. Naked Wolf is like a mid-luxury brand, so it's obviously not budget shoes. Um, they are designer shoes, I suppose, but let me tell you, honey, they're worth the money. But if you have the money to get yourself a pair, then you should. But don't go broke for a pair of shoes. That's my um, adulting financial advice. Okay, so the next two pairs are heels. We have the Jada heels in black and in white. So I'm looking online and they don't seem to have the Jada heels anymore as the Jada heels but they have the exact same shoe called the Jenny heel so they seem to have changed the name um, and the Jenny heel is available in pink satin and in black. Yeah I don't know if Jada has been discontinued but these have actually not been worn my white Jada heels so they're still box new. So yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. Let's take the stuff here so you can kind of see. They've got like a little ankle wrap around detail here. And then this is the front. And then we also have the Jada heel in black. So this is the black pair. Beautiful. So yeah, weird, like I say, they seem to have been discontinued as the Jada heel, but they are available as the Jenny heel. Online for £260 in black and in satin pink. Um, as for comfort, these are pretty comfy as far as heels go. Again, because they're so chunky, um, and also obviously they have your ankle strap, which I always find is helpful to like have that support. Um, they're pretty easy to walk in pretty comfortable. Guys, that was it. That was my Naked Wolf shoe haul. My Naked Wolf shoe collection. My pride and joy. If I had to pick a favourite pair of shoes, oh, okay, so in terms of like looks, it's my Spice Boots by far. I am fucking obsessed with my Spice Boots. I love them. But in terms of comfort and like wearability, 
Um, Sporty White and Phantom are my favourites. Obviously, Phantom is no longer available, so, you know, sorry about that. Um, but Sporty White are, or Sporty, in a colour of your choosing, are super duper comfortable, wearable, go with anything. So, if you're going to buy one pair, like, those might be the best bang for your buck as they say. If anyone has any questions about like Naked Wolf in general or about any of the specific pairs of shoes then let me know and I'll be happy happy to provide any answers that I might have. Let's restuff you. I will link the shoes that I can in the description for your convenience. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you later.